our world is in peril. Gaia, the spirit of the Earth, can no longer stand the terrible destruction plaguing our planet. Earth science is the study of the Earth and its neighbors in space. It is a thrilling study with many interesting and practical applications. Scientists use their knowledge of the Earth to locate and develop energy and mineral resources. Others study the impact of human activity on Earth's environment and design methods to protect the planet. Some use their knowledge about Earth's processes, such as volcanoes, earthquakes, and typhoons to plan communities that will not expose people to these dangerous events. Good day, Earthlings! I am Teacher Shin, your Earth Freak, Green Fanatic, Science Tastic Teacher. Join me as we explore the interconnections between the land, ocean, atmosphere, and the life of our planet. Watch intently and listen sensibly as we delve into the wonders of planet Earth. Earth is the only planet known to cater life forms. This planet has undergone massive change in the environment million years ago to enable living organisms to thrive and survive in it. From single simple microorganisms, Earth's environment had allowed them to evolve into more complex and diverse beings. The Earth is our home. It is an exceptional planet in the solar system where life is possible. It is said to be in the Sun's Goldilocks zone and is also known as Goldilocks planet. Same with Venus and Mars, but currently only the Earth got what it takes to be really habitable. Earth's environment is conducive to different life forms. But what are the different characteristics of the Earth that enable life to flourish in it? Before we go on, let's have a drill. Let's hunt for words. It's not the typical FB post that tells you that the first three words that you'll find will define your 2021 or your love life. Instead, you will discover the terms related to our today's lesson. Hunt 10 words that are related to the planet's characteristics to support life. Looping can be done horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. On a piece of paper, list down all the words that you have found. The words are water, atmosphere, temperature, oxygen, ozone, greenhouse, energy, nutrients, volcanism, and radiation. How many words did you find? Let's all together find out how those words are related to our today's discussion. Earth exists for 4.543 billion years. In its early formation, life is not possible because the environment does not permit it. However, as time goes by, life flourished from minute microorganism into a more complex organism. The presence of life on Earth was made possible due to the following factors. Temperature. It influences how quickly atoms, molecules, or organisms move. Low temperature slows down chemical reaction and produces ice that makes liquid water unavailable. High temperature can cause breakdown of important biological molecules. In Earth's condition, temperature is just right to support life. Look at the image of the planetary distances from the Sun, solar system. Is the Earth's distance from the Sun just right to support life? You are right! The Earth is at the right distance from the Sun. Not too close, not too far. Imagine if the Earth is too close to the Sun like Venus or too far from the Sun like Jupiter. What do you think will happen? When the Earth is too close to the Sun, it will be very hot. The liquid water will boil and will evaporate into gas. If the Earth is too far from the Sun, it will be very cold. 
everything will freeze and no life on Earth would exist. Why is sun important to life on Earth? The sun serves as an important role on Earth. Our sun is a stable and long-lasting star that provides ultimate sources of energy needed to support life. The light energy from the sun gives energy to the plants for photosynthesis. Also, the sun warms the planet and drives the hydrologic cycle. Water It is one of the important ingredients in the different biological processes. Absence of this will interfere reactions necessary for life. However, solid form of water will also hinder living organisms to use it. Water on Earth has different forms. It is solid or ice in two poles and liquid along the equator, which allows living organisms to consume it. Liquid water is necessary for life to exist. Why? Do you know that water helps to regulate our body temperature and carries nutrients to all cells in our body and oxygen to our brain? Plants use water directly when they capture the light energy from the sun and transform it into energy. Energy Earth has available energy-rich sunlight to support life. Some chemosynthetic organisms rely on chemical energy to support various biological processes. Earth is at the right position from the sun that enables it to harness enough amount of sunlight. Atmosphere it is defined as the layer or a set of layers of gases surrounding a planet or other material. Why? Because the atmosphere can protect us from small meteors. It can black out harmful rays insulation or shielding from greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane that traps heat and avoid our planet from freezing, giving the Earth a comfortable temperature. Atmosphere also provides chemical needed for life, such as nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Size of the planet and its distance from the sun affects its ability to hold significant amount of atmosphere. Earth has a right size and distance from the sun that permits it to have a right amount of atmosphere. The presence of gravity also helps in sustaining its atmosphere. Nutrients it is an essential factor used to build and maintain organisms' body structure. Insufficient or absence of nutrients can impede synthesis of different biological molecules. In Earth, there are processes that recycle nutrients. Water, carbon, and oxygen, phosphate and nitrogen cycles are some of the examples. Volcanism also helps in cycling the nutrients. Let me check on your understanding. Come on, let's play Fact or Bluff. Say fact if the statement is correct and bluff if you think it's wrong. Are you ready? Number one, low temperature slows down chemical reactions among living organisms. Is it a fact or a bluff? It's a fact. Number two, atmosphere provides chemicals needed for life. Is it a fact or a bluff? It's a fact. Number three, gravity does not affect the Earth's atmosphere. It is a fact or a bluff? It's a bluff. That should be, gravity affects the Earth's atmosphere. Number four, water traps heat from the sun. Is it a fact or a bluff? It's a bluff. That should be, greenhouse gases trap heat from the sun. Number five, size and distance from the sun affect the planet's ability to hold atmosphere. Is it a fact or a bluff? It's a fact! Number six, absence of water interferes reaction necessary for life. Fact or bluff? It's a fact! 
Number 7. All living organisms need sunlight as source of their energy. Is it a fact or bluff? It's a bluff that should be most instead of all because some organisms don't need sunlight as a major source of energy. Number 8. Insufficient or absence of nutrients can hinder different biological processes. Is it a fact or a bluff? It's a fact. Number 9. Volcanism helps in nutrient recycling. Is it a fact or a bluff? It's a fact. Number 10. Atmosphere protects Earth from small to medium-sized meteorite impacts. Is it a fact or bluff? It's a fact. It's ESQO clack. Let me check your understanding on today's lesson with these 10 item quiz. Listen and analyze to the following question. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What is the most important factor that determines Earth's temperature? A. Size of the orbit. B. Distance from the sun. C. Gas in the atmosphere. Or D. Amount of water on the planet. The correct answer is B. Number 2. Which of the following is not a function of Earth's atmosphere? A. It provides energy. B. It provides significant insulation. C. It protects Earth from harmful radiation. D. It gives protection against small to medium-sized meteorites. The correct answer is letter A. It provides energy. Number 3. Which of the following best describes a greenhouse gas? A. It is a gas that traps heat. B. It is a gas that releases heat from the earth. C. It is a gas that shields earth from radiation. D. It is a gas that provides protection from space. The correct answer is letter A. It is a gas that traps heat. Number 4. An astronomer observed an Earth-sized like planet in a distant galaxy. Based on the data, the planet is at the same distance from each star, like Earth to its star, the Sun. It is also covered with a thick atmosphere which is composed of carbon dioxide and shows no volcanic activity. What can you infer from this data? A. The Earth-like planet is hot and no nutrient cycling occurs. B. The Earth-like planet is cold and no nutrient cycling occurs. C. The Earth-like planet is hot and nutrient cycling occurs. D. The Earth-like planet is cold and nutrient cycling occurs. The correct answer is letter A. The Earth-like planet is hot and no nutrient cycling occurs. Number 5. How does ozone layer support life on Earth? A. By providing significant insulation. B. By protecting it from sun's harmful radiation. C. By providing energy needed by organisms. D by giving protection against small to medium-sized meteorites. The correct answer is B, by protecting it from the sun's harmful radiation. Number 6. If greenhouse gases will increase in Earth's atmosphere, 
what will happen to its temperature? A. Earth's temperature will increase. B. Earth's temperature will decrease. C. Earth's temperature will become stable. Or D. Earth's temperature will not be affected. The correct answer is A. The Earth's temperature will increase. Number 7. Ozone layer is one of the compositions of Earth's atmosphere. What do you think will happen if ozone layer totally depletes? A. Changes in weather. B. Solar wind will pass through. C. Penetration of ultraviolet radiation to Earth's surface. D. Meteors will freely get through the Earth's atmosphere. The correct answer is C. Penetration of ultraviolet radiation to Earth's surface. Number 8. Which of the following are not the function of the Earth's ozone layer? 1. It produces enough amount of rain. 2. It filters harmful UV radiation that reaches Earth. 3. It regulates the weather on Earth. 4. It protects Earth from meteors and asteroids' impact. A. 1, 2, and 3. B. 1, 2, and 4. C. 1, 3, and 4. Or D. 2, 3, and 4. The correct answer is C, 1, 3, and 4. Number 9. Which of the following factor is essential for life to exist? A. Nutrients B. Temperature C. Liquid water D. All of this The correct answer is D. All of this. Number 10. How does temperature affect the ability of Earth to support life? A. Temperature intensifies gravity. B. Temperature produces nutrients. C. Temperature protects Earth from radiation. D. Temperature affects biological and chemical processes. The correct answer is D. Temperature affects biological and chemical processes. Did you get a perfect score? Great! If not, that's okay. You have a lot of time to review this episode on DevFit TV's official YouTube channel. Let's wrap it up! Today, you learned about the five main factors that make the planet Earth habitable for us, the Earthlings. Just remember, twin. T W E A N. T temperature. The Earth is at the right distance from the Sun. W water. Liquid water is necessary for life to exist. E energy. With a steady input of either light or chemical energy, cells can run the chemical reactions necessary for life. A atmosphere. It keeps the surface warm and protects it from radiation and small to medium-sized meteorites. And N, nutrients. It is an essential factor used to build and maintain organisms' body structure. Compared to other planets, Earth may seem perfect or balanced. But this is a matter of perspective. We've never met life beyond Earth. So we don't know exactly what full range of possible conditions for life is out there. Dear Earthlings, don't you realize that we are so lucky with all the factors that make our planet habitable? 
plus the gravity that keeps us on the ground and causes objects to fall. But according to Albert Einstein, you can't blame gravity for falling in love. The Earth sustains life because of the factors that exist at the same time. We only live once on Earth. We should always be grateful for all the blessings that we have. Above all, for the habitable Earth that our Creator entrusted us. Tune in for our next science-tastic episode on Earth Subsystems as we continue to explore the interconnections between the land, ocean, atmosphere, and the life of our planet only here at David TV. This is Teacher Sheen, your Earth Freak, Green Fanatic, Science-tastic teacher. See ya!